signpost stands at a fork, pointing in one direction the sign says victory, pointing in another direction the sign says fulfillment. We must pick a direction, which one will we choose? If we choose the path to victory, the goal is to win. We will experience the thrill of competition. As we rush towards the finish line, crowds gather to cheer for us. And then it's over and everyone goes home. Hopefully we can do it again. If we choose the path of fulfillment, the journey will be long. There'll be times in which we must watch our step. There'll be times we can stop to enjoy the view. We keep going. We keep going. Crowds gather to join us on the journey. And when our lives are over, those who joined us on the path to fulfillment will keep going without us and inspire others to join them too. From The Infinite Game, Simon Sinek. As an old girl, I'm so thankful for the many people in our rich history who have gone before us and made a difference in this place. In particular, I think of Mrs Margaret Cameron, W.R. Black, Mr S.G. Stevens and Mr Ray Powell, who they not only believed in the importance of an education for girls, but then they had the courage and tenacity to make that dream a reality. So it's my hope that our new strategic plan builds on our rich foundations and continues to offer girls the opportunity to connect through relationships and to develop their God-given talents so that they too can confidently impact the communities in which they find themselves after school. I think, I think retaining those um I might just say, say keep going. <laughs> um, I think connecting with, with family and community is really important. Keep consulting with community, keep consulting with the girls, stay current with the girls. Our, our, our lives are ever changing. But Fair Home Girls, are, you know, they, they, can, they can do anything. They're supported to do anything and they're, they're encouraged to be themselves and to go out and find different things. And I, I just think that's just a lovely, particularly for girls, I think it's a lovely thing to just um, for them to know that they can be who they want to be and, and it's just such a supporting environment and I feel like they've, they've just got this beautiful grounding that they can just, it's like a launching pad here that they can just go off and, and do all these fantastic things. From an economic point of view, so Toowoomba has experienced extraordinary growth over the last 10 years on the back of uh, on the airport and the range bypass. We've got Bailey Henderson, a new hospital and, and inland rail coming through. So for me, the top three industries would be would be construction, education, and health, health, health. Um, there's, there's unbelievably big opportunities in health, I'm biased, but it's the largest employer in the region. It's got a 10% growth over the next 10 years. So there's absolutely great opportunity to, uh, to give those girls the, the uh, connection to industry and give them an opportunity to, to, uh, to grow as a person and, and get employment. From a parent point of view, um, I would love Fair Home to continue to be an employer of choice. Uh, if you're an employer of choice, you're getting the best and brightest teachers, you're giving our girls the best opportunity to grow and contribute on a global community. Culture beats strategy any day of the week and the culture that the, 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 te the teachers have got, I feel it, I feel it from the top to the bottom and our, our girls that come, we've got two girls here, they experience that teacher and the love and, and, and the inclusive nature of our Fair Home is fantastic.